Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to cover up the user story 2. And according to the user story 2, it says that if lead source is web, then in that case, we need to populate the description accordingly, right? We have to populate the value of the description with some value. And also, we have to hide the field named as reporting account number. Okay, so now instead of reporting account number, I'm just going to hide the description field only. Okay, now this video is going to be a bit interesting. Like how do we build it? It's going to be a bit interesting and challenging as well. How to do that? This is the reason is because the fields are coming from the field set, right? I don't have multiple lightning input fields. I just have one lightning input field. And based on that lightning input field, I have to hide the particular field. For an example, if I'm going to click on this customer contact, if you see, all the fields that are coming from here are coming from the field set, right? So let's say if I'm selecting lead source equals to web, I want to hide this description field. Now, if it was a normal record edit form, it would be have it would have been really, really easier. But here we are using field set. If you see, I am just using one field set, right? I just have one field set available with me. So it will be quite difficult for me to show or hide a field, another field based on value of some another field. So that's what we are going to do in this video. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so the goal is first, I want to hide this uh, like lead source, if equal, lead source equals to web. I want to hide this description field. Even though I'm using field sets, I have to use, hide this field. And let's say, uh if i'm going to populate with others okay uh okay let's say if i'm going to populate with other i have to hide this field if i'm going to populate with web i have to populate the field with this particular value like that the case is received from the web or the case is received from the leader something like that okay i have to populate so that's what we are going to do now to do that what i'm going to do is for each lightning input field i'm going to use on change So inside on change, I'm going to check whenever, okay, like for an example, every time I uh, click on certain field, right? Whenever I'm going to cl uh, click on this particular, any of the field always, the on change is going to run, okay? And in on change, I will be able to get which field I'm clicking on and what is the value of that field. So that's what I want to do right now that if, let's say if, but before that to get the value of this particular field, I can get it using alert event dot target dot value so i can get the value of this particular field like for an example if i'm clicking a lead source i will be able to get the value of this field using event dot target dot value so if i click on lead source so i'm getting web right so i'm able to successfully get the value now what I want is if my lead source equals to web or if my lead source equals to other then I want to hide this field right I want to hide this field so to do that I have to check if my event or target dot value equals to equals to other yeah if it equals to equals to other then in that case what I'm going to do is I will create a variable let's name it as a hide field So I'm going to use this variable and I'm going to populate this variable with true. Right now what I did was as soon as if my event dot target dot value equals to others, then I'm going to hide this field. like hide field variable will be true else on the other times it's going to be false. Okay, so if I'm uh, clicking the value if my lead source equals to others then in that case the value of this variable will become true and if it is not then it will become false okay now after this i will get all the fields that are available within my lightning record edit form and out of this i am going to check if the description value okay if my the the current item is description and hide value variable is true then in that case i am going to hide the description field to do that what i am going to do is i am going to create all fields variable query selector all and let's get lightning input all the lightning inputs that are available ok 
okay now once i've got it i'm going to loop over them each one by one now i'm going to check if if this is true okay if this is true the height this height variable is true this means my other value the the the, the lead source value is true and and i am currently on the dot name equals to equals to if i'm on the description right if for an example what i'm trying to check if the user has clicked on this particular event or target value if the value of this uh, lead source equals to others and along with that if i'm looping over the variable or if i'm looping over the input box as a description in that cases i have to hide this description field using class name equals to SLDS hidden right if it's not then in that case we are just going to update the class name to current items name so that the field will be available to us immediately just going to deploy it now let's check it out so let's see if i'm going to lead source make a lead source as web description field is hidden but on the other hand if i make phone inquiry or if i make it as other okay it's still hidden the reason most probably would be that the field value is not becoming false okay if the event or target dot value equals to equals to others so in that case is we are making the variable as true else we are making the variable as false we have got all the fields that we want from each field one by one if i'm making this true okay let's try to hard reload it So let's say if, if the lead source is other, field is hidden. But if it's web, it's not coming back. Okay. Okay. I don't, I think so. I don't have class name. I'm going to populate the class name with the same name as this. If it's other, it's hidden. It's still not coming back. Even the target dot value equals to equals to other. okay i did not oh, i only used one equals to right so that's the reason why
lead source equals to other field is hidden on the other hand if it's web it's again coming back so this is how we can show and hide the field what basically i'm doing is if my field value is equals to equals to other i'm making this variable as true and if this variable is true and the current item that i've selected is description okay in that cases i'm hiding the field or else i'm keeping the field as it is okay and now in the same way if i want to populate the description field as well with certain value for an example if uh let's say if the event dot target dot value equals to other instead of that i'm going to make it as web and then i'm going to create a variable populate field to make it true and that's it if it's true then it's let's keep it true okay now what i'm going to do inside this is that if this dot populated equals to true and then current item dot name is equals to description then in that case current item dot value would be equals to i'm going to populate it with this field so let's do it now let's refresh if my lead source is web the field is populated with certain value but if it's other it's going to be hidden but if it's web it's going to come back so this is how we have completed our user story number two we are trying to hide the field and also populate the field with certain values in the next video we will make the ui much more better which will help us to make this lightning record edit form look like more like a standard ui uh, that's what we are going to do in the next few videos next few upcoming videos but if you found this video helpful if it helped you in any way please 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 do subscribe to this channel